very pleased to have with us on the program right now, five-time Olympic medalist Kim Rohde. Kim, thank you so much for coming on the program tonight. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. And, you know, uh, Romney for President has announced Sportsman for Romney. You are one of the uh, co-chairs of Sportsman for Romney. And, and Kim, you know, as, as we were just reporting, you want to talk about uh, differences between an Obama administration and a, uh, a Romney administration. We'll actually be able to get some answers about Fast and Furious in a Romney administration. Of course. I mean, that's one of the things... Um, you know, honestly, say with Romney, uh, you know, he's very and has one of the strongest Second Amendment um, platforms ever. And he's very pro gun, very much about you know, conservation, the outdoors, the hunters, the fishermen, and, you know, people like you and me, quite frankly. <laughs> right, right. And, and, you know, look, I mean, you come by these positions honestly. I've talked with you for the entire time that. Uh, we've been on the air, and and I know how passionate uh, you are about this. You've, you know, you've been affected by these uh, ridiculous uh, gun control proposals. You've seen your range go away because of how difficult the bureaucrats have made it uh, to find a place to shoot in the state of California. Well, I think that's one of the things that we've seen, um, you know, through the years is a lot of the, you know. Um, I like to say anti-gun uh, people, have gone after the shooting ranges and mm-hmm. trying to close them so that we have no place to shoot, as, as well as other things. But, you know, being that I'm from California, I'm no stranger to that. And, you know, obviously the fight was on, and there are some of us um, that are out there that are definitely fighting for our Second Amendment rights, fighting for our privileges to go out and hunt and fish and really enjoy the outdoors and Mother Nature and just everything about it. And it's something that's, you know, been traditionally passed on in our country for generations. And uh, for me, that's something that goes hand in hand, being it was passed down in my family uh, from my grandfather and, and, and further. You know, uh, you say that uh, uh, for you, uh, Mitt Romney's greatest achievement remains the successful effort to save the 2002 uh, Winter Games. Can you talk about uh, about that as a five-time uh, Olympic medalist? Well, you know, I mean, he he turned something around um, and really brought it back to life. I mean, especially after nine eleven and and all the scandal and just everything. I, you know, he was amazing. He was able to bring people together and really um, pull the country together and make it all happen. So, I mean, what he did is just nothing short of incredible. All right. And so you think, Kim, that uh, uh, Mitt Romney can bring those same qualities to the uh, the job as president uh, and, and try to turn this nation's economy around, try to turn, uh, 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 frankly, uh, you know, I, I think a lot of folks would say uh, foreign policy. There are a lot of things that would have to be turned around. Well, you know, when you look at his record of what he's done for these companies and these businesses, I mean, that's what he's done. And he's gone in, um, saved, uh, you know, certain companies, helped build companies. uh, You know, I mean, that is his job. And when you look at his record, I mean, it really speaks for itself. Uh, He is a very savvy businessman. He knows um, the ins and outs. And, uh, you know, I I think one of my favorite lines in watching the debate was when he turned to Obama, like, uh, you know, I've been doing business for 25 years, and I have no idea what you're talking about. So, I mean, it, it really goes to show the stark difference between the two uh, men that were up there, between Obama and Mitt Romney, and it really shows that he is coming from that business background and really does have a passion and, and care for the people. I mean, uh, it, it's just it's amazing to me. I, I just wish more people thought like you and me. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, and, and, and look, I mean, obviously with Paul Ryan being added to the ticket, uh, uh, you know, a, a number of years of support for the Second Amendment in Congress and a guy who... Uh, it has pictures of him and his deer that he has harvested, like, all over the place. I mean, you can find them, uh, you know, anywhere you look on the Internet. Uh, so here it seems as there, there's a, a campaign that really does get the right to keep their arms. And contrast that, Kim, uh, with President Obama, who has, you know, as, as, as people on the left have said, he has made no overt moves against your rights, Kim Rohde. Uh, so why is it that you are so concerned about a second term for Barack Obama, given that he hasn't pushed, he hasn't introduced a a semi-auto ban, 
uh, in his first term. He hasn't uh, called for, you know, one gun a month laws in his first term. Why are you so concerned about the next four years? I think it really speaks for itself. I mean, obviously, we're going into another four years where he can do anything. I mean, ultimately, there's nothing, um, you know, to stop him in that respect. And we're seeing things with the U.N. and and other countries. And, I mean, obviously, with our gun rights that um, have a lot of us nervous, as well as, you know, there's a lot of um, other bills that are kind of waiting on the fringes of everything. And I, I think that it's as I like to say, he's the number one salesman for our industry. And you're seeing a lot of ammunition and gun sales spiking um, due to the fact that, you know, I'm not the only one that's nervous. And uh, if you just talk around to people and are in the industry, it's very apparent. And, um, you know, I think that it's something that we all need to be aware of. Absolutely. Talking with Kim Rohde, five-time Olympic uh, medalist and uh, national honorary chairman, of the uh, Sportsman for Romney campaign. And I got to tell you, Kim, you are in some illustrious company. I mean, you've got uh, a Johnny Morris, a Wade Boggs, Richard Childress, Jeff Foxworthy, Melissa Simpson as your uh, national co chairs, uh, Paul Ryan, the uh, honorary chairman. Wow. I know, isn't it? But, you know, and, and I have to say this, in, in all the stuff that I've done, uh, the political arena, you know, out of all the presidents and the different, you know, political people that I've worked with, I went and did the RNC, and literally two days or three days later, I get a call on my phone. I'm like, who, who, who is this number? I don't know this number. I'm going to answer it. And I answer the phone, and the next thing I hear is, hey, Ken, this is Mitt here. I'm all, who? Like, I just couldn't believe that he actually took the time out of his schedule campaigning and doing all of this stuff to call me and just say thank you so much and I, I I think that just really says a lot about his character he he just truly is a genuinely nice guy his family you know Paul Ryan they're they're just really good people well listen I gotta tell you I watched you at the uh, RNC and it was uh, it was great to see you up there. And let me tell you, you represented gun owners. You represented the shooting sports. I think you represented the United States uh, just as well on that stage as you did on the Olympic stage earlier this year, Kim. Well, did you see my knees knocking? Because I tell you, it was <laughs> nerve-wracking as heck. But it was so cool. And really, to just be up there and have everybody start cheering USA, USA, and just the pride of being mm -hmm. American and being, you know, introducing fellow Olympians that were all incredible in their own right. And were, of course, you know, obviously celebrating and supporting, you know, Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan. It was overwhelming and it was incredible you couldn't even hear yourself speak the the crowd just roared so it was awesome it was one of those experiences in life that you never forget that is awesome hey listen kim thank you again for coming on the program i can't wait to talk to you again and uh i know you're going to be busy between now and election day so we appreciate you spending a few minutes with us tonight my pleasure and, and like i said just i hope everybody gets out there and votes and really um you know really takes into consideration our outdoor heritages and you know the gun rights and and everything that we we all as you and i know hold very near and dear to our hearts it's it's so important in this election absolutely absolutely kim rohde uh, join us on the program kim thanks so much we'll talk again soon 